I'll tell you what, guys, last week, absolutely incredible round. Uh, what a privilege to see it. One of the best rounds of footy I've ever seen. And uh, went recently okay. I'll have the uh, tips at the end of the video from last week. So feel free to check those out to see how I went. And I'll do the tips for round 15 this week. So we've got Melbourne and Sydney on the Friday nights, which will be... Well, a blockbuster going by Sydney Small and Flat. I think they've won six of their last seven Sydney. Melbourne have won their last four. They're in ripping form. I'm going to go the D's by five points. It's going to be a very tight, close tussle. Uh, the D's traditionally go right uh, at the MCG against the Swans. Home deck will certainly help, help them as well. And look, they're in for a big one and a big test. I think Melbourne just being at home helps them here. And they've had some really good wins on the road as well. We've got West, the Western Bulldogs and the West Coast Eagles at Etihad Stadium was, is the next game coming up. And the Doggies, well, they've been in different form. Got the win on the board last week. Uh, Pied point over North Melbourne. And the Eagles losing another one at home against the up and rising Demons side. Uh, I'm going to go the Dogs by 10 points here, mainly because it's at Etihad. And I think they've got a point to prove. Bevo will get them back, back on... Uh, onto the path they want to be on, uh, winning games of football, and at West Coast don't travel away very, very well as we know, so the Dogs win this one for mine. We've got Carlton and Adelaide at the MCG, another big clash here, the Blues have been in some pretty decent form of late, they went down to the Tigers last week by four goals, the Crows, well they uh, got a bit of an upset by the Hawks over at their home deck at Adelaide Oval. And uh, it will be a very interesting game, this one. It won't be simple as everyone expects it to be. I'm going to go the Crows by 22 points. I think they're, just, they're a bit of a classier side, but if Carlton bring their A game, their pressure, you never know what's going to happen here because they can really make any opposition look uh, ordinary with their defensive mechanisms. But I think the Crows will just be able to respond and get back on track. So Adelaide by 22. And next up we have Gold Coast and North Melbourne at Metricon Stadium. I do like playing here at the Gold Coast. They were disappointing last week and not quite getting the job done against the Saints. And North Melbourne went down by a point. They'll be spewing that uh, another close one has got away from them. Just always seems to happen for them. But I'm going to tip a close one in North's favour here. I'm going to go North by three points. I don't think they've travelled that well to Metricon in the past. Gold Coast like playing to Metricon, obviously. Uh, just a bit of a gut feel. Maybe it's an upset. I'm not even sure. I haven't really checked the odds on this one. But I think they'll be able to... Get a real uh, close game here. Should be able to just tough it out, get it across the line. Gold Coast, Gold Coast <laughs> aren't travelling all that well at the moment. So I'm going to go north who are travelling, you could say, slightly better. GWS and Geelong at Spotless Stadium is absolutely massive for both clubs. The Giants have only lost three games for the year. They've been in amazing touch. And uh, got the job done again last week. The Cats, speaking of getting the job done and falling over the line... 34 down and found their way back. Got the review on the channels. You want to check that out for more information. But I'm going to go... Well, coming back to Geelong. They haven't done very well on the road this year. Traditionally, they were okay. But uh, I'm, I have no choice but to go. The Giants by 28 points. I think uh, mainly at their home deck, they'll be in uh, great stead to get a win on the board here. Cats don't, don't travel that well. Not in great form, so it's a pretty easy one for me. Uh, GWS to win relatively comfortably, uh, comfortably, but not too comfortably. Port Adelaide and Richmond at Adelaide Oval with another very spicy contest, I must say. And Port Adelaide uh, comprehensively defeated Collingwood last week with a very good display. And Richmond got the job over Carlton, and they'll be very happy with that, keeping their finals, hopefully, maybe in top four aspirations alive. So, in this game, I'm going to go Port Adelaide by 8 points. The Tigers do travel over to Adelaide Oval, not too badly, against Port Adelaide. Or in Adelaide, traditionally. So, look, I think they'll be a fair show, mainly because it's a Port's home ground. And it's a very tough competition to win at someone else's home deck that's playing well. Uh, got no choice to go with them. They haven't been a top 8 side yet, supposedly. So, this will be a big test, and I reckon they can do it. Essendon and Brisbane at Etihad Stadium. And the Bombers... They won't be too happy with how they went against the Swans. They were happy they were in front. <laughs> Losing from there is crazy. Anywho, and the Lions, uh, they went down to the Giants in the end by 10 goals. So it was a bit of a pill to swallow there. I have to tip the Bombers here by 31 points. Mainly because Eddie had, that'll be a big advantage there. They've been in some really good form as well. 
Brisbane are battling. Beams out will be a huge out as well. So Walker getting tag could be a bit of a side of what could happen if Essendon do decide to go down that route. But I'm going to go to the Bombers on this occasion. We've got Hawthorne and Colin with the MCG. They played seven weeks ago, I think. So and maybe even six weeks ago. It wasn't too long ago they faced off. The Hawks have a great win over in Adelaide. Sean Burgoyne, their absolute stars, just lining up. And Burton was a superstar. Collingwood, again, just seemed to tease a little bit. Port Adelaide, too strong in the day. And got the job done on them quite easily in the end. I'm going to go to the Hawks. And this one by two points. It's so tough to know when to tip them. I think they'll be able to really uh, be able to get quite a close encounter on this occasion. I reckon that they're just starting to hit their straps slightly. They're inconsistent, and so are Collingwood, and you don't know what you're going to get from either side on any given week. I just think Hawthorne got close last time, and Collingwood took an amazing inspirational performance to come back. I don't think they'll uh, quite get back to that standard, and I think the Hawks will just pip the pies. It'll be a very close one indeed. But we'll move on to the final game, Fremantle and St Kilda at Domain Stadium. The Dockers, was it stolen from them from the, by the Cats, maybe? Did they not play well late? Correct. And went down to the Cats by two points. The Saints uh, got the job done over Gold Coast nicely. Four goals there. And I'm going to go to the Dockers by nine points. And again, you wouldn't guess it's because they're at home. And the Saints have tr sort of uh, trouble to travel lately. Uh, big loss to the Crows and in recent times. They haven't been amazing on the road. And I reckon the Dockers are starting to hit their straps as well, just slightly. A, a great performance against Geelong, who were pretty poor, let's be honest. But i am gain great confidence out of that, and it's very tough to win over there. So, Garland Dock is there, nine points. Those are my tips for round 15, and feel free to give the video a like, subscribe for more tips and AFL highlights and all the random stuff about my channel. Check it all out, it'll be amazing. Thanks for hanging around, guys. Catch you all next time.